and welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, earlier on the show, we had Stacey said that we're going to be having a wonderful politician, a young one at that. That's the most interesting thing about it for me. I'm pretty sure it will likely be the same for you too. And um, he's actually veered for the post of local government chairman for it's just a local government. He has won twice and he has served the people and there have been testaments concerning his work. Now he's going for the House of Representatives to represent it's constituency. I'm talking about no other person but Mr. Ibrahim Babajide Obanikoro. Welcome to the show, GJ. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm very well. And you? <laughs> you look stressed. Please don't lie. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm very comfortable. <laughs> I'm not stressed. Okay, so um, tell me, who is Babajide Obanikoro? Ibrahim Babajide Obanikoro. Mm. Uh, a father, husband, mm. um, uh, a farmer by profession. Wow. A businessman as well. And, uh, mm. I live, I've lived in Etiosa almost all my life. Uh, mm. Passionate about my environment and uh, uh, easygoing <laughs> gentleman that just wants everybody around him to be cheerful mm. and joyous. Okay, so everybody is asking this question. You did well as a local government chairman. Um, people have said a lot of things concerning that, both good and bad. I'm sure you've heard. But now we're asking, we're we're asking this question. Why do you want to go for the House of Reps again? Okay. Uh, see, in, in, in life, I believe in life we all want to, uh, uh, we aspire or we aim higher in everything that we do in life. Now, as a, for example, as a banker, you want to rise from the lowest ranking to the highest ranking. So as a politician, you also want to rise from low ranking to high ranking. And... Um, I felt I had, uh, I had achieved politically whatever message I was trying to pass within Etiosa constituency too. Mm. So I, and, um, I figured, uh, let me spread my tentacles. Mm. Let me expand okay. to see how, for, how far I can reach in terms okay. of rendering service, public service to my neighbors and those that are within my constituency. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to run for House of Reps, coupled with the fact that I believe that I can use my personal influence with the power of the office to fast track the develop some of the developments that we need here in Etiosa that we currently lack. And um, it, it's very important to let people know the, the, the roles of a legislator, to let them know how legislators can be of help in their constituency. So I've been doing a lot trying to educate people in that um, area. And that's one of the, another reason why I want to I decided to join the race for House of Reps so we can give it to us a, a rapid facelift. Okay, so moving from when you actually started your answer over this question that I just asked you. I loved something you said. You said you wanted to, you know, move out to see if you can reach more people and do more for the people. Meaning for you, it's not a do or die affair. At all. It never really? Is. It's never not. Always, yeah. So even if you lose, no hard feelings? It's not, um, no, no hard feelings. Okay. So tell me, what are the ideas, you know, people of uh, the ATSA constituencies too should look out for if you were to come into office? That we have been campaigning and reaching out to our people that immediately we win the election. We are going to have a constituency office. What that means now is that uh, physical presence will be within uh, within the people. They would have access to us. So you don't have to come and look for me in Abuja. You don't have to call me to, to reach me. You can always go to the office, leave a message, and be rest assured that I would respond to you. That being taken care of. And if you did, the primary role of a legislator is to make laws that will impact the lives of their constituency. So some of the laws that we are looking at, um, or bills that we are looking at introducing to the House, which regards our environment, is, you know, we have a lot of uh, 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 flood issues. Mm. When it rains, it just becomes uh, uh, waterlogged. And mm -hmm. So some of the bills we want to pass has to do with clearing our drainages when mm. there is no rain. Dry season, we make sure that the drainages are taken care of so that when the rains come, we can take care of that. Also, as uh, as big as Etiosa is, we just have one 
our own completed um, general hospital here in Itosa. Mm. So we want to pass a bill that I think hospitals should be measured by population. For example, we have about uh, a million to two million people residing in uh, Itosa. There should be a certain amount of hospitals that will cater for all these people. So we want to introduce uh, a bill in that department that will take care of that. Also, our roads. I don't know if you are conversant with um, Itosa roads. We have a lot of uh, uh, trucks that are not uh, roadworthy plowing mm -hmm. our our uh, express, the key express. So we also want to introduce a bill that would put the executive arm of government in check. So that they will start forcing, I mean, enforcing the existing uh, uh, road laws. Yes. So that all these not roadworthy trucks would be, you know, off the roads and our lives would not be in danger anymore. And our children as well, they go to school. We need more schools in our area. So we, I'm going to work hand in hand with the executive arm of government to make sure that the schools we have, especially the public ones, not mm. the private ones, mm. are brought to um, standard. It's beyond my, um, it's not, it's not uh, in the purview of my responsibility, but like I said, I'm going to use the inf my personal influence and the power of the office to achieve that goal so that um, life can be made easier for our children. Because in Ethiopia, the majority of the schools are within Ethiopia West and VI. So you find out that children are traveling hours in the morning to school because of traffic and hours back home in the evening as well. Okay, so I'm going to just ask this quick question before we let you go. Um, I've noticed that your campaign influence hasn't been so felt like the other times you've veered for office. Why is that? Uh, if, you, if you are conversant with Ethiopia, you will see that Ethiopia is very huge. It's all the way from Obalinde to Majek. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've also had a lot of internal uh, crisis that we've been taking care of. And uh, to God be the glory, we've been able to reconcile our differences. And so I'm 100% sure that come Monday, okay. you'll see a difference in the approach of campaign. Okay. All right, everybody, you've heard that from Ibrahim Babajidi Obanikoro himself concerning campaigns and his varying for office for the House of Representatives to represent Etiosa constituency too. We're going to be having him again on the show. Don't get scared. Elections is not here. Well, it's really close, but he's going to be on our regular visit all very soon. You almost see his face every day. I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for coming, Jide. Thank but you so much for having me. how can people follow you? Well, um, you can follow me on Twitter at Jide Koro. And they're on Instagram at Ibrahim Babajide Obanikoro. Same uh, face, uh, on Facebook as well. All right. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.